Hello there, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 13 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play, <clears throat> where uh, today I want to work on um, getting our ore processing upgraded with mechanism. I believe we can get into ore tripling uh, here fairly quickly. Now that we have auto crafting and everything done, so we should be able to do that because our system here, I did go mining in between episodes and got some stuff. Uh, the pack also updated, like I said in a little couple episodes ago, 0.4.5 is out and it updated and apparently uh, someone's GEI bookmarks are, well, bookmarked here. Um, so let's clear that out. Uh, but yeah, it's pack updated. That's why we got our chunks on our map and everything that we have uh, claimed. And then I don't even know, do I have those loaded? I have my bases chunks loaded only nine chunks now since i'm not playing on well i can't just sit here i was gonna say i'm not playing on a server so can i claim more chunks i think i can uh i think i'll be able to handle it can i change that here nope i have to actually go into the configs to be able to change that that's okay i don't need it right now it's not that big a deal um anyway as i was saying this process is though effective slow and uh only does um two it's only or doubling uh so we can get into or tripling i mean two or three is bigger than two correct so we can get or tripling going um that'll be nice that'll be helpful so in order to do that um we need to get into some more mechanism i just want to mention i left this crafting table here because if we do get into tetra you need a crafting table um, so it's here for if and when we do decide to dive into Tetra and get some tools from there, but I digress anyway. Um, so let's see what we need. Okay. So, uh, or tripling through mechanism, uh, is done with a couple different machines. Uh, so we're going to be going through mechanism. So let's go scroll through. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm new to this. I haven't actually ever myself done it. So let's see, um, what is needed to be able to do this. So, or tripling, to turn one chunk into an iron clump, we need a purification chamber. Put the iron chunk in there, and it gives us three iron clumps with some oxygen. So we're gonna need oxygen. Oxygen comes from an electrolytic separator, and you just put water on it, and it gives you hydrogen and oxygen. So we're gonna need an electric electrolytic separator. Um, and then normally you could get, well, with mechanism, I'm not going to say normally, but with mechanism, they do have a pump that you can use, but for our case, um, we'll just use a sink, not mechanism sink, but we will use a, uh, cooking for blockheads sink because it provides infinite water and you can pump it out as fast as you can pump it out. So if you have your block and you put pipes on every side, it'll pull out as fast as you want is from my understanding that's how it works so um yeah we're gonna use a sink pump water into our electrolytic separator and we'll be good to go there um so let's go uh what am i doing back here we need that is quadrupling but i don't think we're ready for that yet <clears throat> so that got us our oxygen that we're gonna need for this it's gonna purify into iron clumps now iron clumps are put into a crusher and they turn into dirty iron dust. So we're gonna need a crusher. That dirty iron dust can then be enriched into iron dust. Question is, do I wanna use my enrichment chamber for this process that I already have in existence? Or do we wanna get a new enrichment chamber that's dedicated just for um, these kind of things? That way it doesn't get in the way of our auto crafting in case ores are processing. We don't want the auto crafting to kind of, you know, <clears throat> we don't want the ore processing to interrupt our auto crafting. So if all of the slots are being used in our enrichment chamber and we need to auto craft something, well, we got to wait. So I think we're going to make a new enrichment chamber and then iron dust. Oops. Iron dust can then just be smelted normally in a, where is the, oh, ah, energy smelter. I clicked on it and didn't realize it and energized smelter. So those are the machines we're gonna need. We are also going to need um, tanks from mechanism. 
So let's get some advanced fluid tanks so we can hold fluid. And then let's see, curious, just curious. How many ender pearls do I have? Absolutely zero, so never mind. I was debating if we wanted to go with an ender tank. Is that even in here? I don't, I actually don't see it. Ender tank, oh, there it is. Uh, I was debating going with an ender tank because it allows fluid storage. Um, we're wirelessly, essentially, they connect to each other just like a uh, ender chest does. But I don't have the uh, pearls for it. I was going to do that with water, and then I can add water to the um, refined storage system so we didn't have to, you know, we had water in the refined storage system. But, oh, well, it's not that big a deal right now. Uh, so we're going to need our fluid tanks. We're all gonna need, also going to need uh, gas tanks. So I don't need creative. I just need a chemical tank. Oh, that's what it is. Not gas. Chemical tank because we have to store the oxygen and the hydrogen that we're going to get out of the electrolytic separator. So let's get, uh, well, we'll see if we can get an advanced one. So basically, <clears throat> we need to start making the things that we need for all this. So uh, this actually, this is actually a pretty simple recipe here. So let's put those in there. Did that make two? I swear I did two. Yes. What is in here? Oh, biomass. And then our advanced one should be pretty easy to make. So there are those and our iron chunks. I, I took them out so that I could easily, you know, see what the process that we need is. But I mean, I could have done it from GEI. It didn't really matter. Uh, anyway, so we got our chemical tanks, uh, fluid tank. Do we want to pipe the water into a tank or just straight into the machine? Hmm. Let's pump it into a tank. Why not? I mean, it's not that expensive. So there's our advanced tank. Didn't I get two of those chemical tanks? Did I just put one away like a dingbat? I think I did because they don't stack. And then we're going to need left to right, except for the electrolytic separator. We need that first. So this is going to require gold dust and iron dust and osmium dust. It really requires the dusts. We don't have a crusher yet. Let's get a crusher. If we get a crusher, we can then teach the system how to crush things and get the dusts, but we need two buckets of lava. Conveniently, we have um, a lava source right out here. Don't even have to go down into our mine. We just go right over here and pick up some of these, these buckets of lava over here. So yeah, we'll get this done and then we'll be able to um, get a crusher, which we, I mean, we should have had a crusher a while ago, but I was just uh, being lazy about it and really didn't want to, didn't want to deal with it. Also, this is the first time I picked up lava, apparently, since I just got the uh, hot stuff achievement. I don't even know. No, I've gotten obsidian basically because I tore down the, uh, the ruined nether portal. But outside of that, uh, yeah. So that was what? A crusher. Let's get our crusher. Cool. We're going to need our... Oh, we got a quest. I need to get in the habit of checking these quests before I uh, do anything else because... Well, pressurized reaction chambers next and electrolytic separator. And look, it gave me basic mechanical pipes. We're going to go ahead and throw those in there. And it gave me some oranges. I have not eaten those yet, so it's... Well, I can't. I ain't hungry. Understandable. Uh, so that's our crusher. Let's get our electrolytic separator. Oh, wait. No, I needed to teach this. Haha. -ha, I remember what I was doing. I need a crafter as well. And I should teach the system, to be honest, how to... How to make a crafter. I can't make all the requisite parts yet, but... Very soon we will be able to. Uh, destruction core and construction core. Did I teach that? Yes, so it knows how to do all those things. Um, and it knows how to make those. And eventually, once I get the smelting set up, the Energized Smelter, it'll know how to make these things. So let's maybe get an Energized Smelter going, too. These two are pretty... Uh, pretty basic bare-bones parts for mechanisms, so... Just 
just waiting for that machine down there to finish. And if we go over to our crafting monitor, we'll see that those are scheduled and it is processing currently. And if we were to go downstairs, we would see that it uh, was processing them, but it just finished. So there is our smelter and our crusher. So we need a crafter. What do you need for that? The advanced processors. So let's get the advanced, uh, let's just get five of those, six of those, because they usually need used as doubles. We'll cook these up real quick, and then we can actually set up quick crafting for general smelting recipes. That way we have those set and set us up for uh, some future successes here. When we go to make crafters, we don't have to worry about these pieces. Because I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of a pain. One more, good. Pop all this stuff in there, and I needed a crafter or two. Nah, I didn't think about needing a second one. Uh, processor, Let's just make 10 of those. Do I have enough? Yes. In between episodes, I went and sheared some sheep and made some more slime and all that stuff. I mean, we're not, I'm not going to say we're flush with uh, processor bindings and stuff, but we have some more slime, so we'll be able to make more as needed if, if needed. That should get us going and we can come back and grab the rest. So let's get our crafter. Two of those. Cook it up, should be pretty quick. And then we will upgrade those to iron crafters. Uh, just make an extra set of those. Very soon, we're not gonna have to worry about that. But for now, I'm tired of waiting, so let's speed it up. And that was Iron Crafter. Two of those. Bam. Okay. And then we're going to need our universal cables. And we're going to also need importers. Might as well grab those while we're here. We're going to need two of those. One and two. Okay. Let's go ahead and downstairs. And where do we want to set this up? Okay, so we have our energized smelter here. Or I'm sorry, our enriching factory. And this is our that machine processing line. I could add everything down here, but I kind of need to have like an infinite water source and all that stuff. So I think we're gonna go along this wall. And the last machine in our process is gonna be our smelter because the items smelt and then they're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our smelter here. And then we'll put our crusher down. Because the crusher is kind of uh, not, it's not used in this pro, well actually it is, isn't it? I lied. Let's get our iron chunks. In this process, if we want to, excuse me, have everything in a line. Um, let's see, what do we do? Purification chamber, the iron clumps, then get crushed, so it goes, Electrolytic separator can sit in the back. So it goes purification chamber, crusher, enrichment chamber, smelter. Yeah, let's put this in the proper order. Bam. Let's get our two crafters set up on these guys so that they're ready to go. And remember, we gotta do this like that so that they uh, face the proper direction. So that's those, and then we can go ahead and pop back here. And we have power. Oh my. Here's gonna be another mess of wire. I wonder. No, because I, eh. I was gonna move that up and just that way this is clear to go all the way around, but it is what it is. We're gonna have a wire mess. Uh, I'd rather this did not uh, on the up. And this guy uh, what mode are you in configure items that's fine disconnect from there okay and then we're gonna go here 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 
And where are our machines at? I missed them. So they are here. So we are going to start our electric run here. And power can come in the bottom. Bam. Put you back in wrench mode. And fix the holes. Okay. So, those should have power. Bam. And then we're going to have to run cabling to those guys, uh, which will come up top. So, let's grab our cabling. Hopefully, I have enough. Well, it also doesn't help if I do things incorrectly. Bam. And grab that one. I may need to expand our access wall by one more. So that gets those online, and it gets those online. So we have recipes that we can put into these. Uh, we also need to put our importers on the back so that we can get the stuff out of it. That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, if we put this one here and this one there, we should be good and those connect up there. Okay. So now we can go ahead and get some recipes set up for these guys. Mainly those processor bindings because that is, well, these things. Um, recipe for that is that. And then processor. Uh, the recipe for, for the usage of that is that. And the usage of that is that. Curious, does it matter what machine? I think it may. Let's try that again. Interesting, that pattern isn't wanting to go back in the slot. It's also... I honestly don't think it matters what machine, but we're just going to be safe here so that it does that. Not the recipe for the pattern. Let me clear both of these really quick. Processor. The usage of... I did the gold already. Usage of you. Bam. And usage of you. Bam. And since we have a crafting manager, we don't have to worry about it. So Energize Smelter is going to be, oops, I forgot you cannot shift click. You have to drag. Uh, that's going to go there. The order really doesn't matter, but for my sanity's sake, we're going to go ahead and put them in there. So there's that. Uh, we have those on recipe. Let's go ahead and make the uh, processor bindings. Let's put those on recipe, but not in processing mode. I'm out of patterns. I'm not out of patterns. I had one more. Let's go ahead and craft 10. Also went into the nether and got quartz too. So we're not super duper low on that anymore. It was kind of a pain, but. Uh, and then this is a regular iron crafter recipe. So then now if I say I want a crafter and you know what? Let's just teach it iron crafters right off the bat. Uh, iron crafter know how to make that too so if I request myself an iron crafter we should be good to go to make everything now let's request one of those it's gonna make those it's gonna make uh, some processor nope it has processor bindings so it's gonna craft just a few things I want to pop downstairs real quick just check our energized smelter. I did not set any inputs on this, so let's make sure it's working properly. Uh, top is input, the back is output. Yes. And then we will just boop, 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 clear every other slot here. And your back is gonna be output as well. Yes. Okay, cool. So those are in there. Good. Now, here's the question. Uh, so those have importers on them. Um, are they going to import 
automatically like are they going to output the items like that that crushes down the chunks and then they get smelted will that pass those on we're gonna have to find out uh let's get well for the enrichment chamber no the electrolytic separator we needed what gold iron and osmium Gold dust, iron dust, and osmium. We really should teach the system how to do this, but if I crush those, it's going to import. And not. How do I tell the system to only pull out the things that actually need to be put in there? Mm, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, which will probably be very soon, but I'm not going to stress myself. Oh, no, not all 64, just two. Jeez. Put that away. Uh, and then that was the electrolytic separator. So then that should have dropped the iron in here, crafted those. We're going to go ahead and make the tier upgrades for these machines as well as soon as we get them. Uh, up and running. We're also going to get speed upgrades for all of these, uh, the efficiency upgrades as needed, and hopefully we are going to be okay with power for all this. <laughs> we haven't had to worry about power for a little while, so we'll see how we end up. I thought I hit control. And speed you up. Come on. Alloys. Let's just go ahead and craft like 32 of those because we're going to need them. And what did our quest give us? Electrolytic separator quest gave us a jetpack. Oh, well, I'll be. And an advanced chemical tank full of fungi. Well, we're going to put that away. Oh, and it gave us the jetpack full of hydrogen, too. If I remember correctly, that goes there. Look at that. Taking fall damage, but we can fly around. And if you look in the bottom left, our that shows our hydrogen availability. Now I need to get, I think you can armor this, correct? Yes, just a block of steel, diamond dust, bronze ingots, and we're good to go. So let's actually work on cooking up that steel. Just throw it in here. Let that steel cook up. And then that way we can go ahead and upgrade this jetpack. That's kind of nice. We also need to work on, since we got that, let's work on adding the uh, free runners. Those remove your fall, fall damage, if I remember correctly. So, hey, come here. And while we're here, we are going to set this to recent. And we are going to go to mechanism that machine is annoying I will say that is the energized smelter thank you thank you thank you thank you there we go okay so that's gonna smelt all that up back to what we were doing before electrolytic separator did I make it I did so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna make our sink real quick because we need that for sure which just needs a bucket of water. Uh, I put my buckets in the system. Let's go grab this water real quick. Uh, my door. And I'm also just going to keep a bucket of water on me. You never know when you're going to need it. And having to go get it is a pain. So the electrolytic separator, we can go ahead and... We can actually just go ahead and break that too that we can go ahead and just uh, kind of recess into this wall here ah, something is using my V key I can't controls key V cycle mode forward yeah why isn't it working V yeah, there's nothing else using that either it's not letting me uh, 
controls category C O F H. That's the only thing, and that's the only thing using V as well. Odd. Well, we'll just manually cut ourselves a hole here. Not sure what's going on there. Let's just throw a torch. Let's get our sink down here that I didn't make. The sink can go here. Bam. We can get our basic mechanical pipes. Set that up. We do have to set it to extract. We are in wrench mode. Bam. Pop our electrolytic separator here. And we now have stuff going on. So that is that. Now we need power. Power, we should be able to just run right along the roof and then down. It's going to run out of power soon, but up. Get out of the way. Uh, this is horrible wiring. I am not going to deny that this wiring leaves a lot to be desired. But, well, until we get into wireless power and flux networks, it's kind of going to be the way that we have to do this. Okay, so what I want to do is we have hydrogen. Hydrogen is the light blue, ox, or I'm sorry, hydrogen is the dark blue, oxygen is the light blue side. So we want dark blue, light blue. Good. So that should be our hydrogen. And then our oxygen should be going into there. Hydrogen is what we need for this process, correct? Uh, usage. We... Oxygen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oxygen is what we use for this process, not hydrogen. So our oxygen, we're going to want to go ahead and just dump the excess for now. So what it'll do is it's going to fill up the bucket here, and then it'll just dump the excess. So that, that way this doesn't keep, it, it doesn't stop the machine from running because hydrogen's what we're going to want, or oxygen's what we're going to want at all times. So we have that going. That is going to produce our oxygen and our hydrogen, which is also what our um, jetpack uses, by the way. How do we, can we, uh, like if I take my jetpack off and I do that, it'll fill it up? Yeah. Is there a way to automate that? Like I can just carry around hydrogen with me? Something along that line? Oh, I must have gotten a chemical tank for free. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and mute that as well. Thank you. Okay. So that is water being separated into hydrogen and oxygen. We have our crusher set up and our energized smelter set up. So now we just need to work on getting the rest of our machines, which is our enrichment chamber and our purification chamber. Not too much. So let's go ahead and grab those real quick. And that's going to require an enrichment chamber. So we might as well do this twice. And just request two of them at the same time. Uh, and it's using that to make those. So let's just speed it up. Helps if I press the right button. So there's one. And then I guess it didn't count that one ever. And it wants that in the inventory. Yep, that was still running. Good. Purification chamber. There's that, and then our enrichment chamber we need here. Okay, so the process was our iron chunk. So if we do our iron chunk here. It goes into the purification chamber with oxygen. It gets turned into iron clumps. So we have the purification chamber. Then we have the crusher. Then we have the enrichment chamber. So I did these machines out of order. 
And then we have our iron dust. That is okay. We can just move it. It's not that big a deal. Also, I got a quest for doing the crusher anyway. So, crusher goes there. Our enrichment chamber is going to go here. And our purification chamber is going to go here. All of those are going to need power. Yep, bam and bam. And then our crusher is going to need its um, crafter set back up. I forgot I had that uh, jump boost. It kind of scared me for a minute there. And then, <laughs> again, I remember that this might be an issue, but we will see what happens here. If I put this here, bam, all those have power. I didn't give that any recipes. So that should go there, there, and there. Why did I do that? I need the oxygen. Yeah. So then our purification chamber is going to need our oxygen. So we can run that through the ground with our basic mechanical pipes. So that is not this tank. It would have been smart to have it come out of that tank, but I didn't. We are going to be walking on our cables, but that's okay. So there, 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 and there. You are going to output on the front. Oh, I did mechanical pipes, didn't I? I need the... Uh, gas pipes. What are those called? Um, basic pressurized tubes. Do I have any of those? Pressurized. Nope. Okay. Let's make some of those real quick. Pressurized tube. Just make a good bunch of those. There we go. The universal cables are here. It is just about wrapping up point, but I want to get this at least proof of concept started. Output on the front uh, auto eject. We should see that filling up. Bam. Okay, out of my way. Let's try and uh, pretty this up a little bit. So you now have oxygen and you have power. So if I go upstairs, because there's no way that thing is done up here, we grab just some of this copper. We go downstairs. And we pop this in here okay so we put one in here we have our oxygen we put it in there it's gonna go ahead and process we're gonna go ahead and just speed it up a little bit it's gonna process and it's gonna turn into a copper clump okay we're gonna want it to eject to the right and we're gonna want this to input on the left so that is gonna input left eject right it's gonna crush each one of those into what I was afraid was going to happen. Turn that off. And grab that copper clump back. Or dirty copper dust. Because it needs to go into the enrichment chamber, as it just did, and move to the right. So we're going to end up having another crusher. We're going to put a crusher over here. So you don't even need this. This crusher is dedicated to ore processing only. This is our auto crafting mechanism machines. This is our or processing, except for the smelter, because the smelter is the last step in all of this process. So we're gonna have this output to the right, input to the left, nothing else. And then you are gonna input on the left and you're gonna output the back and input the top, good. And you can auto eject as well, even though it should pull. 
Let's set these, nothing on the top. And you are gonna input from the top and that's it. So what we can then do is take a chest. If I get one of my oh, wireless transmitter in range. Uh, I'm sorry. Do we run out of power? That is highly possible that we ran out of power. And if that's the case, we are going to have to solve it. Okay, it looks like we ran out of power. That is not a good thing. Yep, look. Choking on power. You're running. You're not. I can't access my coal either to help that out. What is using all of our power right now? If I go to you... What's interesting is that nothing is running. So what is using all of the power? Well, I'm going to have to figure that out in between episodes here. See what's using all of our power. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, we got the process set up. We just killed our system. But basically, it goes into here. Oh, you know what's using all our power is this guy. Guarantee. Yeah. Let's uh, shut him off. And then all our stuff should start coming back on. So he's using all of our power. We should start filling back up here. I'm going to set up another compression dynamo. Um, or two in between episodes so that way we can at least boost this because i mean this is sitting on a back stuff of tree oil and a back stuff of resin so it's not being very efficient with all of that but uh we'll let that build back up um and then i'll clean this up close it off and everything and then we will uh next episode finish this project off get into the free runners and then see uh where that leads us next so the andrana signing off thanks for stopping by thanks for watching uh feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you next time catch you later